This video will show you how to use an RTL SDR software defined radio dongle with a Raspberry Pi 3 and GQRX open source software. Among the many things that you can do with this setup is view a simple FFTRF spectrum display, receive signals from wireless sensors and remotes, and even listen to FM broadcast radio and decode radio data system information. Let's look at what you'll need. We're using an RTL SDR software defined radio dongle which is essentially an analog to digital converter. Its purpose is to convert analog radio signals into digital signals, so that software can be used to decode and process the signals. The RTL SDR is a USB dongle with an aluminum case with passive cooling. It has only an 8-bit ADC, which means it may lose some details in the analog signals that it converts, but it's probably the cheapest SDR available that also provides decent performance. We're also going to use a Raspberry Pi 3 with an up-to-date installation of the Raspbian operating system. If you're uncertain how to install and set up the Raspbian OS on your Raspberry Pi, or how to update your file systems, you can get step-by-step -step instructions by clicking on the How to Set Up a Raspberry Pi information banner in the upper right-hand corner of this video. You're also going to need an antenna. Ideally you would use a good discon, or other attic or roof-mounted antenna. However, as a much less expensive alternative, you can get an RTL SDR bundle that comes with a couple of cheap telescoping antennas and a magnetic mount base. The metal bottom of the base allows you to improve the performance of these antennas by placing them on a metallic surface, such as a cookie sheet. Doing so completes the antenna as a one-quarter wave ground plane, which materially reduces the noise floor. If you want to listen to radio using this setup, you will probably need to overclock your Raspberry Pi for enough stability to avoid constant crashes. We'll show you how to do that but recommend that you add heat sinks to keep your Raspberry Pi from overheating. Let's do that now. These heat sinks came with thermal tape already applied, so we'll just peel off the back layer and apply them. There's one heat sink for the CPU and one for the LAN chip. We already have a monitor plugged into the HDMI port of our Raspberry Pi, and a wireless keyboard and mouse dongle plugged into one of the USB ports. So we'll plug the RTL SDR into another USB port. And attach an antenna. Now we're ready to plug power into our Raspberry Pi, and install the GQRX SDR software. We recommend overclocking your Raspberry Pi if you want to listen to audio on your SDR. You can overclock your Raspberry Pi 3 by changing your config.txt. To do so, as your Raspberry Pi is starting up, you will see a screen with a drawing of the Raspberry, and the words for recovery mode, hold shift. When you see that screen, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, until a screen comes up with the noobs menu. At the top, there will be a series of icons. One will be a drawing of a pencil and paper, labeled Edit Config, E. Click on that icon and the config editor will open. Under the config.txt tab of the config editor, scroll down to the section that says, Hashtag Uncomment to overclock the arm. 700 MHz is the default. Uncomment the overclock option by deleting the hashtag in front of it. You can change the 800 MHz to a higher number. We find 900 MHz to be sufficient. Click OK to close the config editor, and then click the icon at the top, labeled Exit, Escape. Now we're going to show you how to install the GQRX software on your Raspberry Pi. GQRX is an open source software defined receiver program that will decode and process the radio signals converted by the RTL SDR dongle. We'll install version 2.6. If you want to make certain you are installing the most current version, Visit http colon slash slash gqrx dk slash download slash gqrx sdr for the Raspberry Pi, to see if a newer version is available. We'll also be following the terminal commands shown on that web page. To install and run gqrx, open the LX terminal in Raspbian, and run the following commands. sudo apt-get install libqt5 gui5, libqt5 core5a, libqt5 network5. Pseudo apt get install libqt5 widgets 5, libqt5 svg5, lib port audio 2. jhttps colon slash slash github.com slash chatha slash gqrx slash releases slash download slash v.2.6 slash gqrx 2.6 repi 32.tar.xc tar xvf gqrx 2.6 repi 32.tar.xc cd gqrx 2.6 repi 32. slash setup underscore gqrx dot sh now we're ready to start gqrx by running the following command 
sh run underscore gqrx dot sh. If you restart or reboot your Raspberry Pi, to start gqrx again you will need to run the following commands in your LX terminal. cd gqrx 2.6 or pi 3.2 sh run underscore gqrx dot sh. The first time you launch the program, a screen will pop up for configuring your input-output devices. Set the device name for your RTL-SDR dongle on the drop-down menu. And set the input rate to 2.4 mega samples per second on the drop-down menu. Leave the other settings where they are and click OK. To turn on GQRX, click the gray arrow button just underneath the file menu in the top left corner. Once the program is running, you will see the frequency you are currently tuned to, a display of the FFTRF spectrum surrounding that frequency, and a waterfall display capturing the history of that RF spectrum. FFT stands for the Fast Fourier Transform, which decomposes a cycle of an arbitrary waveform into its sine components. FFT is an algorithm of the discrete Fourier transform optimized to remove redundant calculations. The discrete part is an adaptation of the Fourier transform to take discrete samples for a digital, as opposed to an analog process. It essentially decomposes a signal into the frequencies that make it up. To tune the SDR to a different frequency, move your cursor over the number you wish to change, and either use the wheel on your mouse or click on the upper or lower part of the number to change it. Let's look at some other settings. Under the Input Controls tab, there's a place for entering a local oscillator frequency. Unless you later put an up or down converter in front of your RTL-SDR, leave this set at zero. The Automatic Gain Control button can be used for devices that support it. Although it says it is known to work with RTL-SDR devices, we find that it does not make much difference on a Raspberry Pi and recommend leaving it off. However, you can toggle it on to see how it works for you. We also recommend leaving off the swap of the I and Q channels, the No Limits, which permits tuning beyond the RTL-SDR's recommended frequencies, the IQ Balance, and the DC Remove, which is supposed to automatically remove any DC bias. You can experiment with these to see what works best for you. If your RTL-SDR has any error or drift, you can correct it with the Frequency Correction setting. If you tune the frequency to a station that you know has a strong signal, and the RF spectrum display doesn't show the signal peaking exactly where you expect it, you can correct the error here. In our case, we are tuned to an FM broadcast radio signal of 97.9 MHz and there is no error, so we'll leave the correction at zero. The only option for an antenna with the RTL-SDR is RX. Under the FFT settings tab, are options for altering the number of points used in the FFT calculations the number of frames per second used for the display, the noise floor in the display, the relative size of the RF spectrum and waterfall displays, and other adjustments. Under the Receiver Options tab, there's an option for offsetting the actual frequency of the SDR from the main frequency shown in the main frequency window. You can also do this just by clicking your cursor on a different part of the RF spectrum display. We usually just keep this at zero and adjust the main frequency. The mode drop-down menu is for setting the type of signal you want to demodulate. Here are the options. The two broadcast radio types are wideband frequency modulation, in either stereo or mono, and amplitude modulation. You'll need an up converter in order to receive AM broadcast signals. The filter width setting should match the mode. If you want to listen to wideband FM, for example, set the filter to wide. Under filter shape, a filter with sharp edges may work better at filtering out interference but will make more demands on your CPU. The noise blanker buttons activate blankers for attenuating static and pulse type noise, respectively. Let's set the mode to WFM, and the filter to wide. To hear the radio signal, you may need to increase the gain. Antenna gain is measured in relation to a theoretical antenna called an isotropic, that has a gain of 0 dpi, which is decibels over the isotropic, in a sphere around the antenna, meaning that it's not more sensitive in one direction than any other. Increasing the gain increases how strongly a signal is received. Let's listen. So Not too bad. Have fun exploring what else you can do with the RTL-SDR dongle and GQRX software on a Raspberry Pi 3.